Good morning, folks. Today we've got solar analysis, a big earthquake, weather from across the world, and an update on the earthquake challenge, a big one. But we begin, as always, over at spaceweathernews.com, checking out the last day on our star. If you don't see much of anything, don't feel bad. There isn't anything to see. No eruptive activity on the Earth-facing disk, and that goes for solar flaring as well. The larger grouping is departing at the western limb, while the Earth-facing disk appears nearly blank now. Solar wind is calming as well as you see a steady orange density and dropping speed in yellow. Could have more fast streams on the way with such a massive coronal hole structure directly facing Earth, basically the whole southern fields. We did take a large rumble overnight, luckily no tsunami from this one in the South Atlantic. Moreover, let's hope the Southwest Pacific got all its energy out on August 12th because a similar coronal hole structure winds up the end of that system bottom left here. This was the scene two days ago in France. Some areas saw up to half a meter of hail. Next, coming out of Nags Head in North Carolina, a big-sized water spout gave onlookers a show. Still looking for any damage reports on that one? May not be any. Lastly, most energetic place on Earth remains the Northwest Pacific, with four systems still churning away there. Folks, Dr. Love and I went back and forth via emails much of the day yesterday on the Earthquake Challenge. After harping on wanting a full statistical analysis of our Twitter and YouTube predictions and telling me to get those social media forecasts published in a peer-reviewed journal, he remembered that this challenge was primarily about the papers that did get peer-reviewed and published, at which time he indicated he didn't even read them. Updates to come for sure. We've got pressure and radar forecast followed by shots of our star to close. It's 3.45 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.